Hello ECS148, my name is Martin Velez and I'm one of the TAs for this course and in this video I'm going to give you a quick overview of homework 2 and how to get started so that you can finish this homework in time. In this assignment we're going to ask you to write a Java program that translates programs written in the E language to an equivalent program in the C language. By now I'm I believe that most of you are familiar with the C language. The E language is a language introduced for the purposes of this assignment. This assignment is broken down into four parts. In the first part, we're going to ask you to complete the scanner. In the second part, we're going to ask you to use the grammar so you can build the parser. In the third part, we're going to ask you to take scope into account so you can build and use the symbol table. And in the fourth part, you finally going to end up producing C code from the, e, from the original E code. So let's get started. First, what I'm going to show you is that the code is in homework2-given.zip and you can get that from SmartSite. I'm using codeton.com. I showed it in class and I'll use it in this video as well. And I'll get started. So you go to SmartSite. Here it is and you go to the assignments, you click on homework 2, and you download this file, homework2-given.zip, and I already signed into Kothan, I already know I'm going to drag it in here, so I'll drag it, okay, so right now Kothan is unzipping the file, there it is, and when I open homework 2 there are four parts, so let's click on part one. As you can see there are a lot of files. So don't let this overwhelm you. That's another purpose of this video is to break this down for you. So in part one, we're gonna you provided with a nearly complete scanner, and we're gonna ask you to provide just a few emitted tokens, which means that you're gonna edit scan.java and tk.java. Okay, so all the files that you saw are broken down like this. There are four Java files which make up the program. There's a make file which you use to build the program. There are four test scripts and out of these you're usually on, only going to use run all. And there are 30 test cases which are, which are used by the test scripts. So now let me show you what a sample run for part one looks like. So I'm going to run the program E2C. I'm going to give it the input at i, which is declaring a variable called i, and I should expect to get a tokenized the, the tokens, a, a sequence of tokens. So in this case, the at in the E language means declare, and the i is an identifier. So tk.id and the letter I. In the second example, I'm gonna to want to I want to print two, three, four, one. So this exclamation mark is the command to print. So this is the program written in E. I pass it to E2C of part one, and I should get a sequence of tokens. So the first one is recognized correctly, tk.print, and uh, the symbol is exclamation mark. And the second one is a number, so tk.num. Okay, so this is an example run. So now let's go back to Kotan. So I, I'm in part one. I'm going to cd to the correct place. So uh, I'm going to cd into the homework, cd into part one. Okay, so now I want to open e2c.java. This is where the main function is of your Java program. I'm going to run it. And I'm going to show you what I just did right now. So we'll give it a second. It's building the program and it's ready. So I'm going to type in at i and it should give me the output token. So again, it scans and tokenizes the input. As you can see, there are two tokens, the declaration token and the ID token. I can also give it print 2341 and it's going to tokenize it and it's going to give me 
uh, the sequence tk.print and tk.num. So I'm going to press Control C to get out of here. Okay, that's how. So when I, I don't know if you noticed, but when I click the Run button, it bi it builds the Java program. So it runs the make file, and it runs the main the program with the main function. So in this case, e2 e2c.c. So it makes it a lot simpler than if you're doing it by you know using make and then run. Um, the next step is so this is how you make and you run and how you test. So now let me show you how you test it. So you type in dot slash run all and this is gonna be your test script. So you press enter and now this is gonna compile your program and it's gonna run it against all the test the 30 test inputs provided. So this is how you interpret the output of the test script. For T1, there's no output. So the program got the, got the test case correct. For T2, there is output, meaning that there's a difference between the program, the program's output and the expected output. And then for these, it passed you can say that it passed. It passed test 4, test 5, test 6, so on. Again, test 11, it failed because there's output. And as you can see, there are a lot more test cases. And some of them, some of them it passes, and some of them it doesn't. So already, what Professor Sue has provided passes some of the test cases. I don't know the number exactly, but it passes some of them. And you have to edit scan.java and tk.java, so let me open that. So tk.java and scan.java. So these are the two files that you're going to want to edit and fix so that when you run run all, you don't see any of this output and all you see are this um, equal equal lines, which means that it passed that test. So that is pretty much up to do, up to you. Uh, hopefully, you'll figure it out. Um, and so this is this is all I probably want to say about part one in this video. I, I have shown you how to import your homework to into Coton. I've shown you how to run it. I've shown you how to test your code, and uh, you can edit here, of course. Now, for part two, sorry, at the part four, eventually you'll have an input. Uh, this is a program in E that's passed to E2C, and now the output's going to be different. It will actually be a C program, but eventually you'll get to that part. Ask questions and discussion, of course, and then Piazza. And uh, good luck. If you have questions specifically about Coton, post those questions with forum.coton.com. Uh, again, my name is Martin Velez. And I'll post more videos about Coton features, something like, for example, if you're working in groups, which you probably should be, I'll post a group, I'll post a video on how you can work together on the same files at the same time. But for now, I just want to give you a brief introduction. Um, on homework two, and hopefully you can get started soon so you can finish on time. Uh, again, thank you, and goodbye.